Welcome to this short documentary on the Methodist Church Ghana, which opens with the greetings and a message from the presiding bishop, the Most Reverend Titus Kofi Awachi Pratt. Our brothers and sisters in British Methodism, you are most welcome to the program. We bring you greetings from your, your folk in Ghana, and we try that this program will further strengthen uh, the affinity between us. Since you came to Ghana to serve us and your return, we want to revive those periods and keep our relationship going. Most welcome. I am delighted and privileged, in fact, humbled, to be part of this historic event. I'm saying so because uh, my links with some of the earliest uh, missionaries still remain very strong as a result of my background being a child of the man's. This program is deliberately put together so that we maintain our affinity with the men and women who came into the then Gold Coast and later Ghana, assisting to establish the Methodist Church in this country. We are glad to say that the seed they sowed have grown and multiplied. And so this program is made to, first of all, appreciate your coming and sacrifices made to make us what we are today. And secondly, to let you know that your labors have never been in vain. They have grown, and we've sustained all those gains, and we are determined to hand over these gains to succeeding generations. And thirdly, we want to link up with our brothers and sisters who served in our back in England and other places, so that the, this link will continue through dialogue and assistance to maintain the Methodist presence in this country. The schools you established have grown. Some of the agricultural projects that you started have fizzled out, but new ones have come to replace them. Above all, the nursery schools you started, the primary schools, the secondary schools have grown, and the tra teacher training colleges have grown into a university college now, the Methodist University College. And so your labors have never been in vain. And we want to assure you that we'll ensure that the Methodist presence in this country and beyond continue to grow. One other thing we would like you to know is that Ghanaians who are resident abroad have started Ghanaian Methodist congregations. In England, we haven't set up separate congregations, but rather worship together with the British Methodists and also come together in fellowship occasionally. But in other places in Europe, Methodists are either in union with Valdensians or with UMCs or alone, on their own. All these have come as a result of the fruit of your labor that has grown beyond our bodies. And so we believe and trust that you will enjoy this program and it will call to memory your services when you were once upon a time mission partners in our country. Thank you very much for coming and God bless you. In this documentary, we take you on a journey through Ghana Methodism since its establishment on 1st January 1835 under the leadership of the Reverend Joseph Rose Donwell. The seed that was sown in Cape Coast has grown into 19 dioceses, one mission diocese in the Ghana Conference, and one mission in North America. For want of time, we have selected a few of the chapels and institutions established since the inception of Methodism in Ghana. Welcome to the Cape Coast diocese, the first to be established. This is the Wesley Cathedral, the first to be established in Ghana. This is Stan's first hall, where the seed of Wesley Girls' School was sown by Mrs. Wrigley. Three great educational institutions established by the missionaries are Wesley Girls, Infantipim, and Commenda College. Welcome to the Accra Diocese, the second to be established. Three institutions and chapels can be found here. One, the Wesley House, which is the head office of the Methodist Church, Ghana. The Great Wesley Cathedral. The Trinity Theological Seminary, founded in 1942 
as an ecumenical effort in ministerial training. And the Methodist University College, Ghana, the premier Methodist University in the year 2000. Welcome to Kumasi Dowses, where Freeman was the pioneer missionary. This diocese is the third to be established. The diocese has the following. The Wesley Cathedral, Mofratrum School, literally translated children's garden, established for the training of girls. Wesley College, now Wesley College of Education, for the training of our teachers. Freeman Center, which houses a guest house and facilities for training church leaders, both clergy and lay. Kwadasu Women's Center for Vocational Skills Training, and Lake Busumchi Clinic, where we carry out our medical missions, serving a large community behind Lake Busumchi. We now welcome you to the Secondary Diocese, the fourth to be established. In the Secondary Diocese, we can find these landmarks. One, the Wesley Cathedral, Bethel Chapel Takrade, the Bethel Mission House, which is one of the oldest mission houses in the connection, the old and new mission houses, the Disco Chapel, where the first English Bible from the UK was placed. Friends, we now welcome you to the Tamale Diocese, the ninth to be established in the connection. This diocese is famous for these great chapels and institutions. The Reverend Bob Figures Methodist School at Bolly, Wild Old Methodist Chapel, and the Wild Methodist School for the Blind. The first second cycle school to be established for the visually impaired. Friends, we now welcome you to the Obuasi Dowses, the 12th to be established. The impact of the Reverend Thomas Birch Freeman is quite significant in these Dowses. Here are two memorials, the Kusa Prayer Center and the Freeman Chapel, all at Kusa. In Formina. Our closing diocese for this documentary is the Wenchi diocese, the fourth thing to be established in the Ghana Methodist connection. In this diocese, we have three institutions established by the missionaries. One, the Wenchi Methodist Secondary School, which was the first second cycle institution in Ghana to admit the visually impaired to Wenchi Wesley Cathedral, built through community effort. And three, Wenchi Methodist Hospital, established in 1952 in an old Methodist middle school block, but now is a 238-bed hospital. Dear fathers and mothers of the faith, we hope you have enjoyed this short documentary on Ghana Methodism. We conclude this documentary with the words of the writer of the epistle to the Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 12, verses one and two. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Now praise we great and famous men the fathers named in story 
and praise the Lord who now has then revealed in man his glory.